So, what's up everyone? Dino here. Welcome back to the channel. And yeah, sorry if I'm a bit light with this reaction because I was so tired. I just slept. I slept through the night. <laughs> I couldn't wait for the episode to air. And I just, I just slept through it. Like, I slept from 7 p.m. now all the way to 3 and 2 a.m. right now. So yeah, last time in Eminence and Shadow, um, it's a fight. They did it very very well. L I love the episode. They captured the essence of uh, Alexia getting kidnapped by the members of the cult in her struggle. All the way when she managed to free herself and... Unfortunately, facing Zenon, while the rest of the episode was a bit of a high whack. <laughs> well, the only thing I hated was the scene with Iris. Iris and Claire should have been speaking to each other, you know? That's where they bonded. That's where they have known each other. But no, they have to change that scene. So, <laughs> I hate it, dead. So yeah, let's not delete that anymore. Again, it's Ryoksha, episode 5. And 3, 2, 1. There we go. This fight is not gonna last that long. Hmm, there is. That's all, they keep missing the mess. They were mess for a reason, you know. Hey. Nice. Entrance. <laughs> it doesn't even matter. Also, one thing they miss is that the shadow size should be red here. It's a main difference. And which you will fail. He gets fling out. So. Mm -hmm. Oh, you get ignored, bitch. Ah. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. It's a it's a it's a detail they've missed in the eyes of Sid. Whenever he goes into shadow mode, yeah, you can see it in the opening, but not in that scene. He has to have red eyes when he becomes shadow. It's an important detail. The point, you know. <laughs> Eta. I just I just don't get the opening. <laughs> Alexia, best, best girl. There we go. You can see the red eyes in this in the opening. Shadow. Oh no, he lost the red eye. 
I am a Tomek. So guys, did you guess who is this monster yet? I wonder if you guys already noticed who's this monster. Here she goes. <laughs> Go ahead, Iris. Try your best here. Come on. The thing she did was supposed to slice her in half. But this is fine. Let's go. Mm-hmm. She's pretty strong. Nice attack. But it's worthless because, you know. <laughs> yeah. Let's see if you can do it anyway. Because here she is. Oh, not yet. Man, Iris is pretty skilled, to be honest. <laughs> hey. Come on. They really miss. They're really screwing up the scenes that's supposed to have a Shadow Garden. He's supposed to have a mess. It really takes out one of the suspense parts of the... Hey. I hope you guys know who this monster is. If you pay attention to the episodes. And off she goes. One descending strike and she's out. Can you guys guess it who it is? Oh, that was nicely animated. Yeah, it's Milia. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Just stay out of the way of us. You shall stay out of our way, Shadow Garden. Man, you have to be, you have to be sorry for Emilia, man. I mean, Emilia, or Emilia. Come on, man. Well, means nothing. Yeah. 
You still have nothing, dude. You're not even making him budge at all. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I got elbowed, bitch. <laughs> so? Oh, there it is. Yeah, do your best. You're not gonna win. <laughs> Scream as much as you want. <laughs> it doesn't even matter, dude. You have to feel weird that the the core of Shadow Garden are, are well still experience voice actresses, but not as prolific as Alexia and Iris. And you have to wonder how they're gonna voice the future girls. Come on. Oh, now you realize what she means now, eh? Strike true. Get fuck. <laughs> Come on. Well, because there's no point. Yeah. Are you in, are you insane too? Well, you are insane. Who are who are you showing that like some kind of Yu-Gi-Oh card? Come on, dope yourself. <laughs> You're wasteful. And that's a... How do you call this? That's a... Detail. I wonder if they're going to use that detail later. <laughs> Doping again. Well, try it. Means nothing. Man, they're so inconsistent with Sid's eye, man. Both of them said it, not just Sid. Both Sid and Alexia said that he is unsightly. It's an affront to the real ones. Blasphemy. Let's go. Bang. <laughs> mm. I love that they add these details of punching in things because this is. I love it. I love it. They're nailing. They're nailing this. There we go. Here we are. They have to do the magic nine say. Here we go. It's time for Taipo Dong. Mm. 
Mm. <laughs> they made it and no pro- monologue here. The question. Years of training. Single solution. Become the bomb itself. Eh, he has to be the nuke itself. <laughs> I um typo dong. I mean It means nothing, dude. I am I am Oh my <laughs> Okay, the voice actor nailed it. The voice actor fucking nailed it. <laughs> there we go. Man, I'm glad that they... <laughs> I'm glad the voice actor really gave his all on that one. That's fucking glorious, dude. <laughs> It is poor girl. <laughs> Such a glorious. We're gonna get the epilogue chapter two. Then <laughs> now you know power. <laughs> Zenon vaporize. A broken sword towards the moon. Hey, at least you love yourself more now, hey? At least you love yourself more now. Be glad, your sis. Be happy, girl. (laughs) Yay. Iris Nesama. Come on, subs. I hate you for not having the proper honorifics. Come on. Mm-mm. Hey. <laughs> yeah, he get through her, through her heart. He would say, "Oh, true, partially true. It's a half true." Want to go out for real? <laughs> yeah, people will find this part out of place. Because as much as that scene in episode 3 was good.
time to die. The mystery of. <laughs> I think Andy included this because there's a meaning to this part. Yep. It also contributes to one of Sid's stupidity next arc. <laughs> Their company. <laughs> Fun girls. They're missing the two. <laughs> also, why is <laughs> Aztec ruins? I mean, she's making some transistors, sure. Wow. Uh, I have to say that Epsilon is doing well with that costume. And there's new. Hi, new. Hi, new. <laughs> I forgot which num which shadow member was that girl five five nine I think one of the most fanatics of <laughs> shadow. Hey, it's her own private army. Marco. And that is this girl. Mm. Well, she should be short. Her arc should end. <laughs> it's still bloody. This arc should end in episode 8. To be honest. Okay, the <laughs> they made it. <laughs> okay, they changed their meeting. Sure, sure. Let me <laughs> let me give it to you. But you know, <laughs> the reason why they know each other is due to stupid reasons. Who's this? How Delta? Okay, that was it. So, yeah. <laughs> that was the fifth episode. We've got... Okay, first thing first, they did it gloriously with the fight. Although, there, there's some... For me, it would be an animation inconsistency with Shadow's eyes. Because, you know, when Sid turns into Shadow, his eyes turns red. It's, it's basically like another kind of layer to his masking of his own identity second they they still the mess is important because as much as it doesn't conceal much about them the mess itself helps like for the dramatic effect like for example, the scene with Alpha, Iris, and Milia, the monster. And Alpha, Alpha, when Alpha introduced herself, when she, 
she removed her mask, there was a dramatic effect there that everyone was captivated by her beauty. Iris and also the other knights. And, you know, the point of their mask was for, dra for the drama, dramatic effect. For Shadow, it's more of giving him the um, inti intimidation effect combined with his glowing red eyes. That, that was the point of it. Or at least if they didn't want to do it, they should have followed some of the examples in the illustrations in the novels or like in the manga where his face is shrouded in darkness instead. But you know, anime I guess. I have to say that they nailed the feeling despite the inconsistency in the animation. What's supposed to be animated instead but i am glad that they, they show that uh shadow doesn't just do swinging swords he punch he kicks he el he swings his elbows and etc because if you remember episode one he explains that he has far more black belts than you know him in kendo you should this should have stick with you like this guy brawls no problem this guy hits with crowbars knowingly how to use them but most of all this guy can brawl this guy is a black belt on almost every martial arts out there and yeah the result of the monster the monster is revealed to be Melia and you know Melia is the daughter of Count Olba in episode 2 uh, yeah he was supposed to be a count did he change that to Marquis? I forgot yeah so yeah that was his daughter he was trying to find a cure for her while being part of the cult and you know he is dead and that asshole scientist is basically experimenting on her on his own daughter so yeah it's kind of fucked up <laughs> Um, uh, what's more? Yeah, about the bloody murder incident. I, I'm, I'm guessing that people will mistake that part uh, at the end there when uh, man Alexa kinda wants it to be her real boyfriend. Like, people will not be convinced by that. Um, the establishment of Alexia liking Sid actually was established during that train scene in episode 3. As much I want to say it, that it ha didn't happen in a train, it happened on a park where they were talking like heart to heart where, while Sid was just listening to Alexia's grumble, grumbling against Zenon. And Sid was like, yeah, that scene happened. And you know, Alexia. Alexia on that scene just stared straight uh, when Sid said that he likes her sword, her swordmanship. Alexia just stared. That just, uh, she has a moment like, uh, uh, how do I remember this? Like, few seconds of just staring towards Sid. And you know that, you know that the words of Sid got straight pierce her heart like it strike true like yeah she found someone who appreciates her from the bottom of her car because Sid was not joking when he when she stared right back at him as uh, to see if he was just you know mocking her um how do you call this like either mocking her or making a fool out of her but no she saw that Sid was very very serious with his statement. He likes her sword. She she saw that there was no lies in his words. He was so serious. And yeah, that was she was speechless and then she was like, Yeah, we're done for today. And that's and that was the end of it. And one detail much I think she mentioned in the last episode that I wonder what happened to Sid. I hope that he didn't get involved in her kidnapping. 
and yeah she during her time being kidnapped she always thinks of him uh, wondering for his safety he she apologizes internally that Sid should not be uh she should not Sid should not be involved in this stupidity and hope that he is best so yeah when she got rescued one of the things that first come through her mind was was it okay is he okay etc like and then when that conversation started about after uh near the end of the episode with Sid and Alexia she was wa- worrying for his well-being in her own way of course in her own tundra way so yeah <laughs> it's funny because that that scene is really funny because that scene was supposed to be on a rooftop not in a random part of a gymnasium <laughs> thingy majiggy <laughs> and then yes at the end of the episode we had iris's private military order assembled with glenn the uh, lion and marco marco granger Uh, as part of her forces also the introduction of our twin-tailed pink haired girl it's supposed to be a different scenario where they meet because you know be, um, the real the real scene that they have to meet was filled with very very funny scenes so yeah let, let uh, gotta look forward to it six seven eight i'll give it three episodes at best to complete this arc because this arc is not very very long it's pretty short actually and then we have like 9 10 11 and 9 10 11 12 19 11 12 for episodes to complete the third arc yeah this should be enough then another three episodes for the fourth arc and then the fifth arc for the rest oh god can they fit volume 4 for it i don't think i don't think they can fit volume 4 now if they have if they continue this kind of pacing and i don't want them to skip scenes because it ruins stuff i don't know they just let's just see it oh so, yeah that's it for one <laughs> like if you like subscribe for more reaction content to anime and stuff i've chosen that tuesday would be my uh, throwback tuesday so i'm gonna watch old animes again something that i like from the past so tuesday we're gonna start with gundam build fighters so we have gundam the witch from mercury on sundays build fighters on tuesdays and yeah Sorry, once, once again, I'm very sorry that I kind of late with this one because I slept through the night. It's like 3.55am now. So yeah, see you next time.